Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to thank all my subscribers so far. I know we young in the game, but guess what? It ain't nothing but to do it. Now, thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the old ones that's always coming back to see what's happening. Now, today I'm doing story time. Y'all, I don't think y'all ready for this one. Now, I started home health aid when I was like 19 years old, 18, 19, straight out of high school. And I remember the first patient I had. I remember the first agency I worked for. I remember all that. Now, I should have known better when the coordinator at the agency told me, I didn't have to do nothing much for this lady. All I have to do was watch her. He said, you don't got to do nothing. They cook her food. Her kids are next door. They cook her food. They drop it off. All you have to do is heat up the food and just watch her and do a little laundry, a little light housekeeping. I was like, okay, all right, I can do this. All right. Okay. Now, laundry day. Remind you, I'm watching this lady now for a couple of weeks and everything was going good. Now it's time for laundry day. I went up to the laundromat because they don't have a washing machine or anything like that. So I went up to the laundromat. This is in the Bronx in New York. I went up to the laundromat and I washed all the clothes. It took me about 45 minutes to an hour because I did a quick wash and a dry because her clothes are pretty light in her sheets. You know, everything is light, so it's a quick wash. Came back. The front door was locked. Okay, every home health aide that works for her knows that she have a tendency of locking the front door. So of course, what, we, what we've developed is a plan for us to go through the side window. The side window is to the kitchen, all right? Now, we will first knock the front door to alarm her that someone was outside. So just in case she's up and in the living room, she will open the door. But if not, you just go in through the side window. Of course, given she's not in the kitchen to scare the life out of her. Now, I went and I saw banging on the door, banging on the door, banging on the door, the front door. She say, who's there? And I, you know, I said, it's Tony. Open the door. She said, who's Tony? I said, your home health aide. She said, I don't know nobody by that name. She went, she sat back down. I started knocking again because I'm like, okay, so she's up. And the last thing I want to do is start her if I try to go in through the window. Anyways, she insists on not opening that door. So, of course, my next step, of course, was to go through the side window, which is to the kitchen. Y'all. <laughs> As I was going through the side window, all I heard was freeze. Y'all, it was nothing but NYPD. Now, I remind you, usually back then, the home health aides would wear all white to identify themselves in the neighborhood that this person is getting health care, especially in certain neighborhoods. But this particular family, they did not want anybody wearing white to their house, of course, because they did not want anybody to really know that their family members are getting help. Pride. All I heard was freeze. I was frozen. You think that movie Frozen just came out? I was frozen from the 90s. That cop stopped me. He said, what are you doing? I said, sir, I work here. He said, show me your identification. Y'all, my bag is in the house. My purse is in the house. I said, sir, everything for me is in that house. Now, I remind you, I had one foot in the window and one foot on the floor, on the ground and I froze. He said, step on out the window, let's go back around, and let's knock on the door. As we proceeded to the front door, he starts banging the life out that door. She came to the door, starts screaming while the door is still locked now. And she said, who's there? And he said, ma'am, this is the police. NYPD, open the door. She opens the door. Sees me standing there with a police officer. This chick gonna look at me and say to me, what you doing out here conversating with the police? Hey, that what my son paying you for? 
Is my son paying you to stand out here talking to the police? Y'all, that police officer was no more good. He just shook my hand, walked away, and told me to have a nice day. Let me tell y'all something. When y'all start in home health aid, home health care, home health anything, or even nursing or health care, make sure you know the difference. When somebody tell you go to somebody's house and all you have to do is watch them. Because I was young, I didn't know much details. I didn't know what real Alzheimer's was or dementia was. Y'all, I feel so bad for that officer. But the next time she did call them, they knew not to come. But see, that's also a problem because if she did have a true emergency, they wouldn't know. Because by the time we got in the house, she don't forgot she called the police. Do you see what I'm saying? Child, that is my story. That's story number one and many more to come. So if you guys have a patient that have Alzheimer's or dementia and you get sent to a job and they tell you, oh, just watch them. Don't just watch them. Watch them. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back. Y'all have a pleasant, blessed, and awesome day. Tony loves y'all. Keep coming back because I got more to come. Love y'all.